1. An overview of Dharma. 2. Buddhist teachings are profoundly wonderful dharmas. 3. Buddhist teachings are wonderful dharmas of liberation. 4. The Abhidharma was introduced to the Third Council in Vaishali in 386 b. c.56-9. 5. Abhidharma or wonderful dharmas. 6. Abhidharmakosa Sastra. 7. Compendium of Philosophy. 8. The Madhyamika Sastra. 9. Yogacarit Abhumi Sastra. 10. Other important sastras in Buddhism. 11. Important commentaries in China. References. Table of Content. Wonderful Dharmas. Tianfuq. The marvelous Dharma or the wonderful Dharma is the wonderful law which is beyond thought or discussion. According to Buddhism, Dharma means Buddhist doctrine or teachings, all of which are considered wonderful Dharmas. The teaching of the Buddhas which carry or hold the truth. The way of understanding and love taught by the Buddha doctrine. The Buddha taught the Dharma to help us escape the sufferings and afflictions caused by daily life and to prevent us from degrading human dignity and descending into evil paths such as hells, hungry ghosts, and animals, etc. The Dharma is like a raft that gives us something to hang onto as we eliminate our attachments, which cause us to suffer and be stuck on this shore of birth and death. The Buddha's Dharma refers to the methods of inward illumination. It takes us across the sea of our afflictions to the other shore, Nirvana. Once we get there, even the Buddha's Dharma should be relinquished. The Dharma is not an extraordinary law created by or given by anyone. According to the Buddha, our body itself is Dharma. Our mind itself is Dharma. The whole universe is Dharma. By understanding the nature of our physical body, the nature of our mind, and worldly conditions, we realize the Dharma. The Dharma that is the law of beginningless and endless becoming, to which all phenomena are subject according to causes and conditions. The Dharma, which comprises the spoken words and sermons of Sakyamuni Buddha wherein he elucidated the significance of the unified three treasures and the way to its realization. The Dharma, the teaching imparted by the Buddha. All written sermons and discourses of Buddhas. That is, fully enlightened beings. As found in the sutras and other Buddhist texts still extant. It should be reminded that the Third Council was held at Pataliputra in 386 B. C. Sponsored by King Azoka, a celebrated Buddhist layman. The Third Council was held in Vaishali. This council was considered one of the most important historical events in Buddhist history. The Abhidharma Pitaka was included at this council. Yupavasathasila, and Tripitaka, Sutra, Vinya, and Abhidharma. 1. An Overview of Dharma Generally speaking, Dharma means things, events, and phenomena. Dharma also means duty, law, or doctrine. The Dharma also means the cosmic law which is underlying our world, but according to Buddhism, this is the law of karmically determined rebirth. The Dharma that is the law of beginningless and endless becoming, to which all phenomena are subject according to causes and conditions. When Dharma means phenomenon, it indicates all phenomena, things, and manifestation of reality. All phenomena are subject to the law of causation, and this fundamental truth comprises the core of the Buddha's teaching. Dharma is a very troublesome word to handle properly and yet at the same time it is one of the most important and essential technical terms in Buddhism. Dharma has many meanings. A term derived from the Sanskrit root dhr, which means to hold, or to bear. There seems always to be something of the idea of enduring also going along with it. Originally, it means the cosmic law which underlying our world. Above all, the law of karmically determined rebirth. The teaching of the Buddha, who recognized and regulated this law. In fact, Dharma. Universal truth. Existed before the birth of the historical Buddha, who is no more than a manifestation of it. Today, Dharma is most commonly used to refer to Buddhist doctrine and practice. 
Dharma is also one of the three jewels on which Buddhists rely for the attainment of liberation, the other jewels are the Buddha and the Sangha. Etymologically, it comes from the Sanskrit root Dri means to hold, to bear, or to exist. There seems always to be something of the idea of enduring also going along with it. The most common and most important meaning of Dharma in Buddhism is truth, law, or religion. Secondly, it is used in the sense of existence, being, object, or thing. Thirdly, it is synonymous with virtue, righteousness, or norm, not only in the ethical sense, but in the intellectual one also. Fourthly, it is occasionally used in a most comprehensive way, including all the senses mentioned above. In this case, we'd better leave the original untranslated rather than to seek for an equivalent in a foreign language. To Buddhist theories, nothing is real and permanent, the five aggregates make up beings, pillars and rafters make a house, etc. All is temporal and merely phenomenal, fallacious and unreal. Names are only provisionary symbol or sign. All dharmas are empirical combinations without permanent reality. All things are false and fictitious and unreal names, I, E. Nothing has a name of itself, for all names are mere human appellations. In the Lankavatara Sutra, the Buddha reminded Mahamedi. Mahamedi. As they are attached to names, images, and signs, the ignorant allow their minds to wander away. Things which exist only in name, I, E. All things are combinations of other things and are empirically named. All things or phenomena are combinations of elements without permanent reality, phenomena, empirical combinations without permanent reality. The phenomenal which no more exists than turtle's hair or rabbit's horns. According to the Prajnaparamitha Heart Sutra, the basic characteristic of all dharmas is not arising, not ceasing, not defiled, not immaculate, not increasing, not decreasing. The Buddha says, He who sees the Dharma sees me. Dharma means the teaching of the Buddha. Dharma also means the doctrine of understanding and loving. Dharma means the doctrines of Buddhism, norms of behavior and ethical rules including Pitaka, Vinya, and Sila. Dharma also means reflection of a thing in the human mind, mental content, object of thought or idea. Dharma means factors of existence which the Hinayana considers as bases of the empirical personality. According to Prof. Junjiro Takakosu in the Essentials of Buddhist Philosophy, the word Dharma has five meanings. First, Dharma would mean that which is held to, or the ideal if we limit its meaning to mental affairs only. This ideal will be different in scope as conceived by different individuals. In the case of the Buddha it will be perfect enlightenment or perfect wisdom. Bodhi. Secondly, the ideal as expressed in words will be his sermon, dialogue, teaching, doctrine. Thirdly, the ideal as set forth for his pupils is the rule, discipline, precept, morality. Fourthly, the ideal to be realized will be the principle, theory, truth, reason, nature, law, condition. Fifthly, the ideal as realized in a general sense will be reality, fact, thing, element. Created and not created. Mind and matter. Idea and phenomenon, reflection of a thing in the human mind, mental content, object of thought or idea, and factors of existence which the Hinayana considers as bases of the empirical personality. According to the Madhyamakas, Dharma is a protean word in Buddhism. In the broadest sense it means an impersonal spiritual energy behind and in everything. There are four important senses in which this word has been used in Buddhist philosophy and religion. First, Dharma in the sense of one ultimate reality. It is both transcendent and immanent to the world, and also the governing law within it. Second, Dharma in the sense of scripture, doctrine, religion, as the Buddhist Dharma. Third, Dharma in the sense of righteousness, virtue, and piety. Fourth, Dharma in the sense of elements of existence. In this sense, it is generally used in plural. 2. Buddhist teachings are profoundly wonderful dharmas. 
The marvelous Dharma or the wonderful Dharma is the wonderful law which is beyond thought or discussion. According to Paul L. Swanson in the Foundation of Tntai Philosophy, p.128, for Chi, the subtle Dharma refers to the way reality truly is. It is synonymous with such terms as the true aspects of reality.